the first batch is done. I had the, yeah, that one, let's show you. This one here is not brown enough, but the other ones were. That one's going to be a pain to peel. Um, I think about a little over 10 minutes, maybe, at 390 degrees in the air fryer. I did flip them once halfway through. I have another bunch here, and I still have more to cut the tops off. Once I have this thing full, then I'll start peeling them again with forever gloves on. And we needed to make room in the freezer for a frozen pizza, so this has to get this has to get uh, bagged up. I am marking it melon because if I open the sack and I think it's peaches and it's melon, I'm gonna be mighty disappointed. I just thought of something. Tomorrow is going to be uh, probably our hottest day of the summer, so. I might actually eat some of these tomorrow. I think they're too frozen too hard like this. Let's see. Oh yeah, I can barely I can barely bite into it. I'm curious to see if they will do what bananas do in the freezer, which is first they're really, really hard, and then I don't know, something with the sugar. They get mushy. So I may have to uh, eat these before too long. It's like a melon popsicle. <laughs> If you haven't used these uh, sill pats for freezing things, it's really nice. You just sort of uh, pull up the corners. The new ones have the corner cut out, which makes it a lot better. Just kind of roll them up, loosens them off, and now I can put them in bags. And put them back in the freezer quickly before they all stick together. Well, 20 poblanos is enough to roast, but I wanted to show you this. So we had a couple of... Oh, he needs washed. A couple of uh, poblanos that turned really pretty red and I put some in here in the banana pepper pickle juice and they're really good uh, not as hot as pickled jalapenos but they have a little bit of heat to them I had them on some hot dogs and they were great so if I have some pretty nice pretty uh, red poblanos I think I'll do that have some jars and mix them with banana peppers well, some of them peel more easily than others I, I tried with the gloves and it just doesn't work this one peels pretty easily. Um, I've been cutting them in half, then when I'm done peeling them lengthwise and shoving them in here. So far we've got three in this little one cup jar. 20 peppers took me about almost exactly half an hour to peel. Uh, these did not fit in my five jars. I'm going to have to go out in the shed and get a few more jelly jars. I will top them off with oil and then refrigerate them until they're nice and cold and then freeze them. The oil thing is what I do with the red sweet peppers, which hopefully will get enough of those Marconis and Aconcaguas that I can maybe uh, roast them in a couple more weeks. That's it. So <laughs> they were sitting in that in that pot on the stove with a lid on it for probably four hours because I well, had other stuff to do. But hey, maybe that actually worked. They peeled pretty easily. I went outside to throw away the poblana skins and came back in with these. My ripe banana peppers and some more bell peppers. And it looks like the red Marconi and the gold Marconi are going to be ready before too long. Oh, and these, these yumlies, sweetest pepper you could ever hope for. Little snacking pepper.